guys, what's up? It's Emma, and in today's video, I'm going to be filming a huge thrift haul. I haven't filmed one of these in probably six months, so everything here is everything that I've thrifted in the past six months. So, I'm making this a try on haul because I hate myself but love you, so after I spend three hours trying all this on, please give this a like, subscribe, comment, because it takes a lot of work. I have literally clothes from every single season because like I said, it's been a very long time since I've hauled everything that I've thrift. So if you guys want to see a massive thrift haul, probably the biggest haul of my entire life, then just keep watching. Also, before we get into it, I just wanted to say that my socks say stay th I almost said stay thick. It says stay sick. So the first thing that I'm going to show, actually, I'll show the stuff that I most recently thrifted. So I got this in my last come there with me. It's this Adidas sweatshirt looks like this. It's white. It has like maroon detailing. The logo is maroon. It has these really cool gray like almost ombre stripes on the side. I can't tell if that's on purpose or from like washing discoloration but either way it looks really sweet. Then I have these really cool pants that reminded me of Brandy Melville pants because they're like that light blue. They have a fitted waist. They have pockets. Also it could be pajamas but I feel like this is like my favorite kind of pant to wear with like a black and white t-shirt and like sandals, maybe like a jean jacket. Super cute, really comfortable, and yes. Both the hoodie and the pants reach $5. Then I have these ad black Adidas snap pants. These are the first pair of snap pants that I've ever thrifted that have actually fit me. These are a size medium. They're long, black, they have, they're really shiny and they have obviously like the buttons along the side that go like that. These were also $5, super cheap, really comfortable. Then I have the San Francisco t-shirt, which I thrifted. This one was $3, looks like this. It's maroon, it's <laughs> super cute. It has like a almost old timey design of San Francisco on the front. I've never been there. This reminded me of Brandy. I don't know, I feel like it totally could be from Brandy if it was like a, maybe like one size. Then I have two Virginia Tech t-shirts because thrifting college shirts is what I love. This one is probably my favorite. It's so cool. It says VT Orange Effect and like gothic font which I think is gonna be really sick. I plan on either making this into a tube top or cropping it because these t-shirts are literally like four dollars and I can make like a variety of really cool college shirts for like college game days so I'm so excited about that. I also have my first white long sleeve tech shirt. Looks like this. Just says Virginia Tech Hokies. Super cute. Probably gonna crop it too. This one was four dollars. Then I have this polo from a very long time ago which I actually already cropped. Um, it was two dollars. It just has like a normal neckline really sporty vintage retro kind of. It looks really cute. I wore this in my laundromat shoot with Cameron. I'll put a photo there. Then I have this dress that I initially thrifted for graduation. It still fits me. I really don't know what I'm gonna use it for because if I end up rushing it's gonna be freaking cold when it happens. So this dress is just a white strapless dress. Super cute and comfortable. It's a nice fancy dress in case I want to jazz it up a little bit. I have these pairs of shoes. This was five dollars. These were five dollars. Um, they're just black sandals look like this. They look kind of ugly because my foot's not in them. Look like this. That makes them look so ugly. Then, I got this for $1 because I'm doing like a tennis court photo shoot sometime. And they had like a stack of these for a little... They had like 60 of them and they were all 99 cents. It looks really weird, but I figure that like once I'm like on the tennis court and like lights coming through, it'll make like part of my face green maybe. Like that. I don't know if it looks cool or weird. I have tons of sunglasses, so all my sunglasses are from the secondhand shops downtown Richmond, either Rumors or Ashby. So the first pair I have are very 70s. These are from Ashby. They were, I think, 10 or $15. That's about how much they range. Um, I wore these in one of my Good Vibes photo shoots. And all of these are from Rumors. These were all $10. Super cute. I have these in pink. I have them in yellow. Ta-da. also have them in these yellow hearts, which I got for Thrift Chella if you're an OG. Super cute. You guys know I love my glasses. I literally have 70,000 pairs, but I still buy a pair every single time I go out because, like, they're slightly different. Then I have this um, UVA t-shirt. I know. UVA. But I figured since Cameron's going, I should have one t-shirt at least, if not to burn, then to wear. Then I have these really dope flare jeans. They're dark wash. These were... I, they had original tags on them. I think they were about $5.00. They're just like super high-waisted and they have like the longest flared like pants. I feel like in the wintertime with booties, heel booties and a sweater and like flare jeans, you just feel like such like so put together. Then this is a yellow t-shirt I got. It's Reebok. It was super cute. It was three dollars. It's a really comfortable oversized t-shirt. I'll probably bring this to the beach as like a cover-up slash 
layering in the fall is really nice with it. It's just super cute. It has like the little Reebok logo like embroidered right here. Then I have these star denim shorts, which actually I also thrifted for Thriftchella. These were from Rumors. They were on the pricier side because Rumors is like an upscale vintage shop. So I think these are about $20 look like this. It's July 3rd. I'm gonna wear these tomorrow 4th of July. Like the perfect outfit. They fit me also like so beautifully and they're perfectly high-waisted. I just love them a lot. Then I have my baby. Um, I got so many comments about how I wouldn't shut up about the sweater in one of my thrifts with me. But guys, it's my favorite sweater. This is a Christian Dior waffle knit um, yellow sweater. I actually got a DM that was like, are you gonna wear that? Because if not, I want it. And I was like, sister, like, I'm wearing it. This is my favorite sweater that I own. I'm so excited to wear this once it gets warm again. It was 100 degrees today, so this is not happening right now, but it's still like my favorite thing ever. It's so soft, so comfortable, and it was $5. And it's Dior. These are some Adidas um, navy ones. Look like this, high-waisted with the white lines across the side. The best thing in the wintertime, they have like the knitted pockets, the drawstring, high waist, so comfy, so easy. A look. These are probably my favorite because they're really retro looking because they're really cool. Um, I love when you walk and they make like the swishy sound. I love sport pants. Those are also good for laying when you're going sledding because you don't make your pajama pants or leggings wet. Then I have this Tommy Hilfiger top, one of my favorites actually. Um, it's a royal blue turtleneck that has the Tommy logo embroidered right there. It has like a black or slash navy piping around the collar and the sleeves. It is just so cute. It's also $5. Look at that beautiful Tommy jeans tag. Just wow. Then I thrifted a pair of white jeans. I think these are Coldwater Creek, which is kind of a grandma brand, but they were pretty high-waisted, so I was like, whatever. Probably gonna cut these bad boys into shorts because they're just typical, like, white jeans. Pretty straight leg, so I was just like, eh. So I'll probably cut them, but they're super cute, high-waisted. Still need to cut these. I don't know if I want to fray them or cuff them yet. I haven't decided. Then I also have this little dress for um, college slash formal. I got this in my thrifting prom dresses video. It's by Wet Seal. $5 for this really cute black bodycon dress. Literally never felt cuter in this. It's so comfortable. It's actually the best. I love this. Wow. I can't wait to wear this for like formal or something in college. Not really sure yet. Who knows? Then I have the infamous jacket. This makes me miss winter so much. This was my off-brand IMG jacket that I thrifted. It's kind of dirty brown, but it has like the insides like dark brown, so there's like some contrast there. It's so comfortable, it has huge pockets. Literally my go-to when I'm at tech, you will not see me without this jacket because it is just the best. I can fit my keys, wallet, phone, charger, water bottle. I would just walk out without a purse, my pockets would be stuffed, so. This makes life so easy and I love it. And I'm actually wearing this tomorrow on the 4th of July as well. I got this Ralph Lauren polo. It's really cute. It's red, white, and blue. And then the Ralph Lauren logo is like a little embroidered flag, which is perfect for tomorrow. I'm definitely going to roll the sleeves and crop it with some high-waisted shorts. Super adorable. And how festive. We're going to be getting into my obsession with plaid pants. I'm sorry about it. I just love them so much. Still haven't found a yellow pair though. This is a pair that I get a lot of comments on my Instagram about. And these are the high-waisted red ones that are stretchy. So comfortable. So cute. The perfect length. And these are good for either summer or winter. Because you can pair it with a crop top. Or you can layer it with like a jean jacket. Literally the best pants I've ever owned probably. And they were $5. And I just obsessed with these. Then I have these gingham ones that I thrifted from an up, a more upscale thrift boutique. I kind of want to go back there. I'll do like a special come thrift with me, but these are also Ralph Lauren. They're Ralph Lauren petites. Um, they're really cool. They're gingham, high-waisted, a little cropped in the ankle, but super cute. The problem with these is that they're really tight, like there's no flexibility or motion in them, so eating in these is a very bad idea, but if you're walking around, you're good. I have this little red plaid skirt. I actually bought this so long ago and I haven't ended up wearing it yet because I don't know. I'm having some trouble on styling it because it looks very much either schoolgirl or Scottish, so we're going to decide on that. I'm Scottish, so don't come for me. This is also from Thriftchella. It is this little dainty white tank top I got from Uptown Cheapskate. I think this was like $7. It's by Charlotte Roos. It's Practically a bralette, although it's a, it's like adorable. Very much coachella e. Next, also from Uptown Cheapskate, I have these super cute plaid pants. I haven't worn these yet, but these are like totally like the brunch pant. You wear an oversized t-shirt and like some like mules, and this is like a nice big bag. Like total Danielle Carolyn vibes. Plaid pants, adorable. Once again, high-waisted, stretchy, the best kind of pant. Perfect length, 
has pockets, a dream pants. This is also from Uptown Cheapskate. Super cute little denim skirt. This one I think was ten dollars. It's by it's by Gap, so it's super cute. Has a little, like a natural fringe at the bottom. It's not very stretchy, but it holds its shape at the bottom, which is nice because all my Fashion Nova ones are kind of bodycon and like mold around my butt, which isn't always the most comfortable when you're out in public. So I do like wearing this sometimes. It holds its shape. It's very stiff. And it's still comfortable, so points to this. Then to dive back into the plaid pants obsession, I got these two pairs of, I think, boys pajama pants, but they reminded me of IMGA. Really cool high-waisted blue plaid pants. I can't wait to style these in like a like romantic, sporty vibe that IMGA is. But I also have them in the green because I figured I couldn't leave the sister pant behind. If I'm getting one, I'm getting both. It was like a package deal. They were both $5, so super cute. Really comfortable and I just love plaid so much. I think it photographs really well for Instagram pictures. Then I have these gingham jeans, which I figured would be really good for college game day because they're like more, they're stretchier, they're comfortable, and they're more casual than actual pants. They're by the, they're by Cherokee, so they're obviously not very expensive. These were three dollars. They're just high-waisted gingham jeans, super comfortable, adorable. I like paired the college t-shirt and like Nike Air Force Ones, so cool. Um, they're like jegging material, so I know they're going to be really comfortable. Love. I have this crocheted top. This is actually handmade, and I bought it from Rumors, and it was $20. So technically I wouldn't, it's from a thrift store, I don't know if I'd consider it thrifted, but I think it's really cool to look at, and you don't really find something like this. Yes, it could be a pot holder, but also it makes a really cute t-shirt, so, you know. I have a couple tank tops. These are really old. This one's from Banana Republic. It's a really tiny black striped tank, just a really simple one, very brandy -y. Um, except this was $5, not $25. I like this one. Also have this one, this little red one, which is also like the same vibe. It's a little tiny little tank top. Super cute stuck into like jean shorts or jeans with like sneakers and like get the very much like I love summer vibe. Then the coincidentally, then I have another San Francisco t-shirt. That's really weird. This one's really, really old. It has San Francisco on it and like all these cute little like cartoons of San Francisco. Like all in the same like primary color palette. I know green's not primary, but like whatever. Then I have this t-shirt, um, reminds me of Kappa. It's like two girl skeletons sitting back to back. I can't remember if I showed this in my other haul, but regardless, edgy, cool, kind of has people like do a double take, like what are you wearing on your shirt? Am I in a heavy metal band? You don't know. Then these are actually my yellow jeans to my thrift swap with Sarah Dunk. We had a big YouTube thing. I'll link it down below if you haven't seen it, but these are awesome high-waisted yellow pants. My favorite. Also stretchy, so really cute, but they still have like a little bit of shape in them, so they're not jigging. They're like definitely mom jean style, so I just love these a lot. They're also definitely like very, very bright, but they photograph really well too, so I love those. I have a plain old pair of Levi's that I thrifted. Super comfortable. These are the Levi 512s. These are super comfortable, high waist, like your classic thrifted denim. The ends are rolled, very nice, a high waist, the perfect mom jean in my opinion. I love these. These were also, I think, $5. Everything at Goodwill is literally $5, so sorry if I keep saying that so much. Then I have this Hawaiian shirt with I thrifted in my last video too. I got it for a party and I'll be wearing it to the beach a ton. Super cute. I cropped it because it was actually massive, but I just think Hawaiian shirts are so, like, cute. Like, wearing this with, like, high waist shorts and, like, Sneakers is so cute to me. I don't know why. Like, I want a pair of fanny pack on it, like, tourist chic. These are some stretchy jeans that I actually cut and rolled up to look uh, kind of free people-y. Like, I know that paper bag denim has been a big trend recently, so these look like this. They look kind of weird on camera. Like, once I show you them, me trying them on, I think you'll understand. But they're super cute, not to mention comfortable. The elastic waist is a blessing. These are, like, the perfect car ride jeans just because they're so easy to put on, take off, sit in. All the good stuff. Then I got this t-shirt pretty recently. It's the orange Nike t-shirt that has like the like like plastic letters on the t-shirt. Looks really sweet. I really want to crop it really short for um, Instagram slash college so I can wear like high-waisted jeans and maybe like fishnets underneath it so it looks really sweet. Four dollars. And lastly I have this Ralph Lauren t-shirt like this. Cross is in the front. It's really form-fitting and also is very um, flattering, which I do like. It's one of my go-to t-shirts. I wore it today, actually. Wear it all the time. This was also $4, and it's a staple in my wardrobe, so that's great. This video is going to be like 50,000 minutes long, but if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. Subscribe. I'll be doing more Come Thrift With Me soon. 
Um, I move into college August 16th, which is crazy. That's so soon to me, but that means there's also going to be new thrifting videos, so I'll be in a new town, and I'm really excited about it. I'll be filming a college advice video really soon, and maybe even a q and I have no idea. We're going to do Meet the Roommate, dorm tour, college vlogs, move-in vlogs. I'm excited for all of it. I hope you guys are too. Um, yeah, do everything I just said, and I love you guys so much. Bye. Mwah.